Hey everyone, Travis here, your collectibles expert with My Comic Universe. We're in the Funko Room today to discuss my top picks from this year's SDCC Funko Exclusives. So don't go anywhere. <laughs> Welcome back. So Funko had announced that we would get roughly a dozen waves for this year's San Diego Comic-Con exclusives. Uh, now if you exclude the, the ones from the Funko pop-up shop, which is basically a, a shop that Funko opens in the streets of San Diego during the con so that people who aren't attending the event can actually get some exclusives and you can only get them here. A couple may end up on the Funko shop, but most of them you can only get at this, this pop-up shop. So we were left with 10 waves that are actually available at the convention. I'm gonna dive into my favorite of those, so let's do this. Wave one was Star Wars. Basically each wave is themed. So wave one was Star Wars. Out of these, my two favorites, we have a holographic Princess Leia, uh, two pack with R2-D2. Very iconic from A New Hope. You know, the people have been requesting this pop for a long time, so I'm glad we finally got it. And my next favorite from this wave is the Supreme Leader Snoke, which, if you saw The Force Awakens, he seems to be um, Kylo Ren's master, or, or he's at least running the show here. Uh, now our next wave, wave two, we have Scott Pilgrim. I personally, I haven't read the, the graphic novels or anything, but I did love the movie. And we have, my favorite from this wave is a Nega Scott. Black and white, has the sword, it's a really cool pop. Now our third wave is Marvel. Uh, I have two favorites from this one. We have Tony Stark, it's, it's from Homecoming, um, but he's holding the Iron Man helmet. It's kind of a mini Iron Man helmet. Funko's kind of been doing this a lot with some pieces, and I'm personally a fan. Some people aren't too happy with it, but I love it. And my second favorite from this wave is the Red She-Hulk. Um, some people don't seem to be receiving this one very well, but I love it. I, I need it in my collection. Now, our next wave is themed cartoons. Uh, a lot of classic stuff here. I picked three from this wave that are my favorites. We have the two-pack of Ren and Snippy. It's the Happy Happy Joy Joy two-pack. If you watch the show, it's, it was a very funny episode, one of my favorites. And uh, next uh, from this wave, we have the Coon from South Park, which very funny little, little bit in the series. Uh, they're kind of all superheroes and stuff. Uh, very cool pop, can't wait for that one. And to close out this wave, we do have Baxter Stockman from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Um, iconic to me, I used to love the video games, especially the arcade game, and he's kind of the first boss. Uh, it's a pretty cool pop. And uh, our next wave, wave five, we have DC Comics. There's quite a few really cool ones in this wave. Uh, it's hard for me to pick some tops, but I picked, um, it's a Toy Tokyo exclusive, the Blue Chrome Batman, which is apparently gonna be very hard to find. Um, basically last year some people had, uh, you, you can, a lot of retailers will put these available online for a short period, very limited stock, and people had pre-ordered some of their convention exclusives from last year and there were stocking issues and they were promised something, they, they were going to do something to make it up for them and it turns out this year they're giving those people priority. So us, us people who didn't pre-order and get cancelled last year might not be able to get this piece. So. We'll see, if you get it, let me know. If you're willing to trade, definitely let me know. Uh, next from this wave, we have the, uh, the Man Bat Pop, which is cool, it's from the animated series. Uh, I know I love the animated series, I hope you guys did. And Man Bat's just kind of a funny, funny sort of villain. Uh, we also, I'm not normally a Dorps collector, but we have the Nightwing uh, Deathstroke Dorps 2 pack, which, two of my favorite DC characters, I gotta get this pack. And uh, to close out the DC wave, my favorites at least, we have the Joker Batman, the Suicide Squad version. Now this is especially awesome to me. My very first pop was the Loot Crate exclusive Batman Joker, and it really, it, it's what set the, the tone for me to be such a, a collector you see around me. Um, not a lot of people are happy with this one, but I need it. I need it in my collection. Now our next wave, we have uh, television. A couple of cool ones in here. I like, I personally like the glow in the dark tick. Uh, I, I loved the cartoon as a kid. It didn't really last very long, but I liked it. And uh, my other favorite from this wave is the T Dog from The Walking Dead. I'm a huge, huge Walking Dead fan, and uh, I feel like they should have made his pop a long, long time ago. 
uh, our next wave we have Warner Brothers a um, little, little bit of a lackluster wave to me but I do like the Harry Potter on his broomstick holding the golden snitch uh, I think it's you know especially recently Funko's been making a lot of action poses and I think Harry Potter they've done so many pops that it was about time they did an action pose of him playing Quidditch so I do like that one now our next wave is Disney which is typically a pretty pretty sought after and well anticipated theme for these exclusives uh, my first favorite from this selection is the Negatron which is a, t a version of Negaduck from the Darkwing Duck series that I loved as a kid that was one of my favorites. Uh, next in this line is the Glow in the Dark Jolly Roger. Now, I know people went nuts for the non Glow in the Dark version of this that was a Disney Parks exclusive. People camped out at downtown Disney and at the parks to get their hands on this. I personally didn't get my hands on it, but I am excited to see, in, in kind of a devious way, how nuts people go over this, which is obviously more limited. So, we'll see how that goes. Um, next in this line, I, uh, I picked two, two flocked ones because I do like my flocked pops and I would eventually like to do some flocked customs. I'll keep you updated on that. But we have a two pack of Chip and Dale, which some of my favorite characters as kids. I, I love these little guys. And the next is the flocked Tigger, which everyone loves Tigger, your favorite energetic little, little tiger. Um, and our, our next wave is miscellaneous. Now there's, there's some pretty sweet ones from here, but my favorites, and this is kind of an overall out of all the waves favorite, is the six inch uh, Megazord from Power Rangers. Uh, we, we heard word of this months upon months ago, and we weren't sure if it was going to be a con exclusive, a store exclusive, but we, we got confirmation it is a con exclusive. It will also be shared with, I believe, FYE, but on our social media we'll post a list of the shared exclusives as we get that. Um, but this Megazord, I need it in my collection. Uh, my next favorite from this is the, uh, the Scare Glow, which, which is from Masters of the Universe. Um, I wasn't super into it as a kid, but as I got older I kind of watched this classic cartoon and, and it's awesome. I have a few pops from this line as well. Now to close out our, our actual SDCC convention exclusives, our last wave is HBO themed. We had stuff from Game of Thrones and Westworld. Um, I personally, and I catch a lot of flack from this, for this from friends, I'm not caught up on, on Game of Thrones, so I didn't pick one of those as my favorites. I did pick ones from Westworld, though, because it's a great show. Um, we have Musashi, which, you know, slight spoiler if, if you haven't watched the show, but at the end of the first season, we see that things are going to take kind of uh, uh, almost an orient uh, kind of... Um, um, change of lanes so this is kind of a preview from the next season so I really like this guy and my final final pick from all of these uh, waves is the young Ford he uh, once again if you haven't watched the show it's, uh, basically a robot which is the young version of one of our main characters and his face opens up and you can see the robotics inside of it it's a really really cool looking pop um, I believe that's all we have to go over today. We should get New York City Comic Con exclusives in the next couple of months, so we will definitely be doing a bit on that, and I'll share those with you. Uh, aside from that, I want you to, if you enjoyed this video, like, comment, please subscribe. Uh, you know, let us know which of these exclusives you want to get, or, or which you picked up last year even. Just open up some conversation. We'd love to hear from you guys. So once again, thank you for joining us. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see what else we have, Check out our website, mycomicuniverse.com, and make sure to social, follow our social media at mycomicuniverse pretty much across the board. Thank you guys for joining. Take care.